Dr. Beresov, do you copy? Dr. Beresov, please come in. I'm not sure the signal is even getting through. We're almost to the docks. According to Dr. Beresov, the E-99 bomb is on a freighter called the Pearl. Hey guys, it's Codex947. Welcome back to more Let's Play Singularity. Do you think the train held together? In the last episode, we defeated the Phase Tick Queen on top of a bridge as we were making our way to the docks. And in this episode, we are going to reach the docks and hopefully get the E-99 bomb that we need to destroy the Singularity and prevent it from ever happening and thus fix the timeline. Wow, that was a mouthful. Anyway, uh, starting off here, uh, we are going to get off the train. And explore this uh, little area here. Um, it's full of E99 tech and uh, other little goodies, including an augmenter. But first, I'm gonna try and fail desperate <laughs> and fail really bad at trying to get that D99 tech. Um, I'm sure that there's a way to get it, but I don't know what it is. So uh, there's probably somebody who's gonna watch this um, and be like, "Are you kidding me? It's so easy to get that. You can just do it doing that." Anyway. Ugh, oh, you wanna... Ooh, excuse me. Alright, so, at this augmenter I end up going with, I believe... I think I increased my impulse a little bit. Yeah. Ah. Uh, this game really does... Like, I know I've said it probably a hundred times now, but... It seems like every time that I either play it, like, while I'm playing it, or after while well, editing this or something or recording uh the commentary for it it always reminds me more excuse me uh more and more of bioshock and i know that this game was probably incredibly influenced by it but you know like the augmenter it's like your um your secondary uh what is it called your like your secondary plasmids or your um, passive plasmids or whatever they called it. Uh, the ones that are like your armor stuff, like your armor shell ones, or uh, other stuff like your heat resist, that sort of thing. Um, and I kind of wish that they brought those back for 2 and infinite. In my opinion, I think that would have been a, a really cool addition. Um, especially infinite, which I think is was masterfully done. I love infinite. I think that might be my favorite one. Um, anyway, let's pick this up, and come on, you can do it, you can, uh, there we go. So, anyway, uh, I'm gonna try and use this box to try and get the thing now, and it's not gonna work, because it's like, it's right at that threshold of it's just a little bit too short for you to get over, but it's not that big of a deal. Oh, excuse me. Uh, yawning up a storm here. Uh, I had a bit of a rough morning, but I'm here, I'm recording, and this is a little bit longer than a half hour episode, guys, so sit tight. I couldn't figure out a good point for this to, for me to cut this, so hold on, because it, it's, it's so long. It's such a long episode, but a lot happens in it, so... I'm glad I remembered to hit record this time. Anyway, this is kind of funny. But I go and I'm like, oh, you know, 99 tech, and then like a whole pack of freaking uh, phase ticks attack, and <laughs> uh, I'm glad I didn't die there because that would have sucked. Anyway, it says Beresov was wrong. You know what? I probably. Oh wait. Yeah, you know what? You could probably just. Ooh, that doesn't sound good. But anyway, like, you don't even need this box. I don't know why this is here. Because you could totally have just taken that box back and used it again, but I don't know. Oh, excuse me. Oh, sorry, guys. Hope I'm making any of you yawn. That would suck. Uh, I know my commentary usually puts people to sleep, but come on, this is a little ridiculous. <laughs> oh, God. But anyway, this part right here... No matter what I did, no matter what, I don't know what went through my mind here. I don't know what I thought I had to do, because I almost have this. It's a, such a small puzzle. It's literally, you put that box on top of that box, and that's it. And then you can jump over. 
and I get it right here, but then I fuck it up, and I just, <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking, because I'm like, oh, maybe I have to put it down here, or maybe I have to do this, or uh, maybe I have to do uh, this thing, maybe I have to grab this, maybe I have to do that, blah, blah, blah. And I even think, uh, right here there's a barrel that's out of phase, and I'm like, oh, maybe I'm supposed to take that barrel and blow up this lock with it. Even though, can we just talk about how that lock is? That's one of those, like, sliding locks. Alright, with, like, I know there's, like, another lock underneath it, but... I feel like it's just the sliding lock in place. Because that's all that anybody ever does. Oh, it's just a sliding lock, and then they leave it there. <sighs> Excuse me. I don't know. <laughs> like I said, it was a rough morning. I was uh, really late to work. I um, ended up accidentally sleeping through all of my alarms. I set like five alarms in the morning and none of them worked. Um, but that's my own fault. Uh, and then it was crazy busy. But anyway, come on. There you go, age it. You can do it. You can do it. Bring it over. Come on. There you go. And I don't... Mm. This just, this pains me. This really pains me. Because <sighs> I think you can blow up this door. And nothing happens. I don't know why. I'm so tired. I've had like three cups of coffee too, and I still just can't keep my eyes open no matter what I do. But, what are you going to do? Try not to yawn, I guess. But, whatever. <sighs> so right here, I think I finally figured it out. Oh no, no I don't. I do something even more dumb, and I put it the box over it, and I'm like, all right, now I can get over there, because now, for some reason, I don't need this box. And then I realize that I just had to put the box on top of that box, and then we'd be okay. Oh, my God. Hindsight is 2020. Hindsight is 2020. Oh, my God. That's just so painful watching me replay a lot of these dumb things that I do, and I'm just like, oh my god. Why did I think that you could do that or that or that? You know, it's clearly this they have to do. But I digress. Anyway. I also don't understand these these tripwire plants, you know? I really don't get it. Probably just there to be annoying. Chopper incoming. Watch yourself. Uh, there you go. Some more E99 tech. More tripwire plants. Another weapons locker. So if you want to switch it up, you can. Ooh, and let's open up this door. I think it's like the eighth time I've been on this episode. Uh, and we're only ten minutes in. Alrighty. So, let's go ahead and head forward. You can see that Demichev's men are here. And so are the Zek. Yay! This is going to be a fun time. Ah, oh, God. Anyway. Let's go ahead, grab more E99 tech, and pick ourselves up a seeker. Oop. There you go. There you go. Alright. And let's go ahead and exit this cargo container. That's all. If anybody speaks Russian, tell me what they're saying. I half feel like it's gibberish, because I feel like this is one of those things that you can totally just, you know, fudge it, nobody cares, but, you know, I know what they're saying. Ugh. You know, it's kind of like uh, with Zelda. People went and were like, "Oh, I wonder what if you know." People thought, "Oh, you know, Hylian is just complete gibberish. It's just some random symbols, right?" And so somebody actually took the time and 
went and like deciphered it and they found out that like the signs say this is a sign or no does it say that i think the ones in wind waker or something something says like don't cut the sign or something stupid like that uh anyway ignore my bad seeker aim i'm getting a little bit better at this um, i haven't been playing too many rpgs as much actually that's not 100% true, I've, been, I've still been logging a couple hours a day in the, uh, the last story. That game's fantastic. Oh! Okay. Well, this is this is awkward for everybody. Okay. <laughs> There's always, like, it, it... Okay, so I had it on, on uh, Sony Vegas, um, the old one. Not quite sure what it is. It's uh, Sony Vegas, I think, 11. Platinum, but it's so annoying to edit on it because my biggest peeve with it is that you can't seem to like like that. Like I have to pause for like two seconds there, and if I look at it, it's not going to show it for two seconds. Because what I do is I like I'll look through my video and I'll look for like the long like nothing going on thing, and that's usually means that I pause the game or something, and. It's just like, what What am I, you know, like with those two second things, it doesn't show up well enough for me to do that. So that's why they'll be like me randomly pausing. And sometimes you guys will hear like the sound of the pause menu going away. <sighs> Excuse me. Um, and that's me editing out, you know, longer pauses. But I don't notice, you know, I don't know that there are these short pauses, you know. But... I mean, it's whatever, I guess. And there we go. Renko, I hope you're all right. I lost your signal for a few seconds. I managed to contact Dr. Beresov. Captain Renko must have experienced another time anomaly, most likely due to the E-99 bomb. Submersion in the harbor may have made the bomb unstable. So the freight has at the bottom of the harbor. What's the plan now? Simple. Renko can use the TMD. Captain, there is a damaged amplification platform on the dock. Repair the power cells below it, and you'll be able to raise the bar. All right. So we now know what we got to do is restore power to the TD to the TMD amplification platform. All right. Third ship in two weeks has arrived. It's amazing how much is being brought to Kotorga 12. How fast everything is moving. I don't, but I don't know how long we can keep it up. Basically, what he's saying. Uh, don't trust me. Okay. Uh. But yeah. So what was I saying? Oh yeah, with that, with Sony Vegas 11, uh, tech savvy. Whenever ammo is picked up, so is TMD energy. But with um, with Sony Vegas 11, the one that I use. Um, it's thirty dollars right now on Amazon. Thirty bucks, that's it. For a brand new copy of it. And it's like two years old or something like that. Versus there uh, Weapon Tech, thank you. Uh versus the newest version of it, which is like three hundred dollars. Like literally for a tenth of the price. I don't know why it is that they did that, you know, like it's so much cheaper now just to buy the old copy. Anyway, I'm gonna grab one of these weird light bulb things. Like a Tesla coil type deal. And it will also lower the water. I don't get that. Is there, there must be like a built in pump or something. Alright, I'm gonna go back up here. That's what that ladder's for, in case you couldn't tell. And yawn number 20, I think. I yawned so hard that time that I made myself yawn again. Yep. It can only happen to me, apparently. Anyway, let's stand on this TMD platform. Raise the ship.
I absolutely adore that part. I think that's so cool, but I wish that they hadn't made it a cutscene, you know? I feel like that takes something away a bit. I don't know. That might just be... You'll find the bomb in the cargo holds below deck. Move quick, Raising the freighter must have gotten Demichev's attention. I can hear helicopters heading our way. Um, I just love that part. I remember the first time I played this and I saw that, I was like, oh my god, that's really cool. And actually, this whole part is one of my favorite parts of the whole game. And how many times did I say part in that whole in that last part? Captain, I must warn you that the DMD effect will not last long on an object as large as the freighter. It will sink again. You need right. to get off that ship with the bomb as fast as you can. You heard Bearsaw, it's not going to last that long because of how big the ship is. So... Oh boy. Alright, so now we got a bunch of Zacks here that we got to fight. And by a bunch, I mean there are... A lot of them. Oh man. You guys want to know something? Though, there's going to be a part later on in this that I could have sworn happens, but I guess they changed it or something? I don't know. Maybe there was an update and they edited it out, but there's some part coming up that I could have sworn happened. Maybe it happens later on. Um, but. Anyway, so we can see that already the effects of the TMD are wearing off. Renko, we're on the dock, but Demichev's men are everywhere. Choppers are deploying soldiers onto the freighter. Be on the alert. All right, Demichev's men is trying to get into. The, uh, yeah. Demichev's men are getting onto the freighter. So let's keep going, and hopefully we can find this bomb before they do. Right. Gotta crawl through here because otherwise the helicopter will shoot at us. And hey day, hey day. This is the battle. There's been an explosion. They're taking all water. Anyway. Alright, so let's grab some of this stuff. And there's a recording of it over there. I just love how, really quick though, before we play this recording, or as we play it, never mind, I'll wait. Personal log, November 22nd, 1955. We've taken possession of something Dr. Demichev calls an E-99 bomb. I'm uncomfortable having this on my ship. It's unproven, untested. The bomb is dangerous. I've told my officers to keep everyone away from the rear cargo bay. Hopefully the seas are calm on our return voyage. So, that's him talking about the E-99 bomb. You'll see a couple more things that talk that uh, touch on it and how the crew feels about having it on board. But anyway, this is a cool little thing. Alright, well first there's a note. Gruger sold us the rear cargo bay. Captain's order. Got a bomb headed for Moscow. wonder what it looks like. We'll be seeing relatively shortly. Anyway. The 99 bomb, help pack. And a locked door that can't open. And also a weapons locker. Now this is actually really cool, because I was like, uh let's go in here. Get ourselves E99 tech. And let's prepare that. And now we should be able to open up that door. But anyway, I came out here and I'm like, oh, there's another Easter egg that I can show you guys. So anyway, we get the Deathix launcher. Uh, it's basically a grenade launcher, if you will. Pick that up, and I switch back to the Deathix launcher. Now, what's really cool is you can actually control the grenade. But watch this. Ooh, okay, don't watch that. Watch this. All right. Get it to jump. I want to go that way, but you can get it to jump. Do it again. Maybe, there we go. It drops down there. Come on, you can do it. There you go. Go on through there, and... Open that, you get a weapon pack. And... Mother, my brain hurts. Got a... Familiar looking 
thing in that tube there, but also discovered the most interesting specimen today while on a routine dive. The creature's unique predator lashing on the head of its prey for sustenance and reproduction. In fact, crew members have been attacked by the creature because of strange behavior, curling up in a fetal position, rolling around the deck. We will continue to study this creature. S.A. Samus Aryan. Yup, they are referencing Metroid in this game. That's just so cool. I don't care who you are, that's probably one of the coolest little Easter eggs ever. Um... Like I said, this is made by Raven, so they don't even have anything to do with Nintendo. But it was just cool. I feel like they did it, and uh, the you know I feel like they made that weapon, and then the uh, guy went and um. I lost my train of thought, but, uh, anyway. Uh, so I feel like they made the weapon and then they were like, oh my god, this reminds me a lot of, uh, of Metroid. And then they went and, uh, just named it, you know, did the Easter egg. I just think that's so cool. And I wish Easter eggs were more common nowadays, you know? I feel like this was, like, the last generation of Easter eggs. You know? I mean, I don't know, I haven't played Grand Theft Auto V. I actually haven't played any Grand Theft Autos at all, except for like two seconds at a friend's house when I was like 13. So, you know, for all I know, they still are hot full of uh, Easter eggs and such, but this game had quite a few. Anyway, take that guy out. Health pack, still have full health. Let me take that guy out. I'm gonna take myself out by doing the repulsing. I didn't even see that uh, gas canister there. And let's drop onto the lower level. More E99 tech. And let's go on, head through the store. Just that. Ah, poor guy. But we've already known what messing with the past can do. Oh man. Move slowly, they're blind. Son of a bitch. We all know who these are. So I guess, so I don't know if I touched on the fact that, yeah, that wasn't the last revert part. Because guess what we gotta do again? Note or file formula first. Armor decreased projectile damage against you. That's something we're gonna definitely want to use. Order to say clear cargo bay. Once again, it's just talking about the bomb. Get some ammo. And I'm not gonna risk aging anything in here. So let's just start creeping past. I hate these parts. They're so. I'm just glad they apparently can't smell anything, because that would be bad. But this isn't as bad as the last area. I feel like they were like, alright, we were jerks with the last part. We won't be jerks here, we promise. Pinky swear, we won't do anything dumb. We swear, guys, don't worry. You just gotta walk past that guy. It's whatever. Then you just gotta go ahead and just jump over here. And there you go, keep going. And nope, they want to be jerks anyway. But, ah, uh, I hate that. I hate that they do that. That they do like the, okay, you gotta creep through here. You gotta be quiet. You gotta be silent. You can't make a noise, otherwise they'll get you. But then he's like, surprise, motherfuckers. And I know that they did that with the phase sticks, but I mean, come on. You know. Alright, so that guy goes in there. But, you know, it's, it's literally the same tactic twice, and I know that that's kind of the thing now, we just make a game based around one kind of scaring, but, you know. I don't know. Of the container. He said it's perfectly safe to transport. I'm not so sure. 
interesting. Now my question is more, how are there reverts on the ship in general? Um, I think personally that is the dead crew that when you raise the ship because of how powerful the amplified TMD is, it actually reverted them, you know, brought them back to life, but then it reverted them into these creatures, you know, into the reverts. That's what I think. I know, you know, in a little bit there's going to be a cutscene that's going to kind of, or not really a cutscene, but you know what I mean, a flashback deal that's going to kind of contest that, but... Oh, is it here? No, it's not here. It's in a different area. I'm sorry. But yeah, I think that's... So yeah, that could very well be what happened. Is that because you uh, used the powered up TMD to reverse, you know, to bring the ship back? It could be what uh, caused that. So anyway, go ahead and get that. Also, that is a giant Stalin head that those phase six came out of. In case you're wondering, and uh, we're actually going to find a. Uh, whatchamacallit, a, a note about it very soon. Alright, get those out of the way. I freaking hate Zax. I wish that they would just leave us all alone, but they won't because they are Zax and they are annoying. But it's whatever. Also, there's probably some Marine 99 tech right there that I totally missed, but it's whatever. So. Alright, take out some more Russian soldiers. There we go. Reload, and I keep, I'm like, oh, there must be something hidden here. This looks like a room that they would hide stuff in. Lo and behold, they did in fact hide a E-99 tech and a note. All right. Claims that the island is going to be the birthplace of the new Soviet Union. We should discard memories of the past. So yeah, so that's in reference to the Stalin head, and they're talking about how he's probably just putting, or no, I'm sorry, it's a Lenin head. And he's talking about how he's probably just putting his... Uh, that Demichev's just probably going to put his head on Lemon's body, and I believe that's actually something a lot of them do, is uh, if they ever need, you know, if they, like, changed a ruler or something, they would just take the head of the one dude off and put a new one on. Anyway, so right here I go ahead and I go crazy and upgrade uh, both my armor and my defensive stats quite a bit, and I think I also increase either inventory or... Do I increase anything else? No, I don't. Alright, so in a little bit I increase infantry and stuff. Alright. Open this up, get way more E99 tech. Just handing it out like candy, even more than you do. Anyway, I wish I hadn't shot these guys, because what they were doing is they were actually trying to save... Or they were trying to take out all the phase ticks. So... You know, that was kind of dumb of me to start shooting at those guys, because they were, probably would have taken out most of the phase six if I had. Accidental allies. He's coming. Man, I'm a dumbass tonight. <laughs> to freaking electrify the water. There's no way he'll make it with all of Demichev's men right. there. Bring that back, and keep Get going. Stop. Where are you going? To the freighter. Ranko, I'll be there in a minute and draw the soldiers' attention away from you. Alright, so Catherine's trying to get us to, uh, trying to get to us to keep Demichev's attention on her instead of, uh, instead of um, us as we uh, attempt to get the E-99 bomb and Alright. Go, Catherine, go. You can do it. Anyway, so we got these weird plants down here. They don't do anything. I used to think that they did stuff. But they're just kind of there. They are very, very, very mutated because of the E-99 radiation. So, let's grab the bomb. I 
it just really bothers me that he just like was like, oh, glowing orange thing. Let me grab it with my hands. I know that they're behind gloves, but still. Oh my god, it just bothers me so much. It's, it's like, you, you see all this crazy stuff, and then you're like, oh, I will just grab this source of E99 radiation with my bare hands. Yes, this will protect me. Uh, it just bothers me so much. First speaking, I wouldn't have even gotten the water. Good god, that shit is probably gonna give me cancer anyway. Anyway. Alright, so this is what I meant when I was talking about the scene that I thought was gonna happen. Is I remember Zek being drowned by this and like grabbing your arm during the scene, like, like, trying to get at you even though it's drowning and then it dies. I don't get it. Anyway, let's head out here. Let's get out of the ship. Captain Renko, thank heavens you're all right. Here, let me help you. You did it! You got the E-99 bomb! We still have hope. 